it's a, a, a process that takes time and thought. And you can certainly research nonprofits on the internet, but I think um, talking with people who are involved in an organization is really important and understanding from people who are on the board or the executive director of an organization, what's really going on at the organization is really important to have that knowledge. Um, I'm afraid I know too many stories of people who found organizations on the internet and wind up in their first board meeting saying, oh my gosh, this isn't what I expected. And so I think understanding what the dynamics are, what the issues are that the organization is dealing with, certainly understanding the revenue model, um, what the board and the organization are aspiring to be and to accomplish are important, what their expectations are. Um, so it is a process of sort of research and discovery. It does help to have a broker to assist you. Cheryl mentioned some organizations. United Way has a linkages program, which is excellent. Um, Courtney okay. found IRTA through Robin Hood. Um, Arts and Business Council has a program. Um, I work with corporations to with um, the people that they identify to um, to quote place them on boards. It's a process. Uh, I spend a few months with each candidate to help them find the board that meets their interests globally, national, and regionally. Um, and I think those are most of the um, those are most of the programs where there's a, a broker that's beyond just internet research. Yeah. But and I would I would encourage you in in all of your paths and journeys to talk to people wherever you go um, as you meet them about where are they involved because it's often through your own personal networks that you're going to learn about organizations mm -hmm. and boards and that way you also hear what's going on at the organizations and I, I think you might be surprised to hear how many people are involved and hear wonderful stories and learn of and find some amazing opportunities. Mm -hmm.